Hi, my name is Wayne. I am an ASE certified master technician. I have over 34 years of experience. Today, you and I are going to help to repair your car. Our customer brought us this 1997 Ford Explorer with a four liter single overhead cam engine. The complaint is that the engine runs rough, the car shakes at idle, and we have a check engine light on. For our diagnostics and repair today, we will be using our fender cover, a vacuum gauge, our safety gloves, our safety goggles, quarter inch drive ratchet, an extension, seven millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, crescent wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, our trusty flashlight, the Innova Pro Scan tool, some penetrating oil, and a vacuum pump. Now since we have a check engine light on, pulling the codes will help us diagnose our car. We have a PO300 random misfire and a PO402 excessive EGR flow. Let's go into the hood and make a visual and then a more complete diagnosis. So let's focus on the EGR valve. We look and make sure that all of our connections are good on our EGR, our pipe coming in and our vacuum supply side. We'll remove our vacuum line from the EGR valve and hook up our vacuum gauge. Now at idle we should have no vacuum. Go ahead. Okay, we don't have a problem with our vacuum system, so we don't have a valve that's being activated when it's not supposed to be. Let's suspect that we may have either carbon deposits in the valve itself or just a stuck valve. Now for that part of the diagnostics, we're gonna need to remove the EGR valve and physically check it. We also wanna check and see if our gasket is broken. We could have a big leak there. This gasket is somewhat cracked. You can see the carbon that's up in the valve. Now the carbon deposits will cause the valve to stay off its seat and that will give us our random misfire at an idle and create a drivability concern. We also want to make sure this vacuum is not leaking around this gasket. Since this does go to manifold vacuum, that's an important gasket to have. Could have a vacuum leak. Okay, let's compare our valves. Our new valve appears to be identical to the old one. Sometimes we can match them up by the numbers that are on there and the numbers are the same. Let's put it on. Now with our new EGR valve all tightened down and installed, let's put the engine cover back on, clear the codes and go for a road test. Simply push the eraser button. Good, all the codes are gone. Now there are a lot of things that can cause an engine to stumble at an idle, the car to run rough or to shake, and for the PO300 to set, the misfires to happen. On this particular car, we had a stuck open EGR valve. So we professionally diagnosed this car, we professionally checked it, and we professionally repaired it. Good job. Let's send it back to the customer.